substitute in for yp double prime, for yp prime, and for yp, and then solve for a. So my yp double prime is when I combine these two t first terms, I get negative 2a e to the negative 2x. e to the negative x plus a x e to the negative x. Then I have minus two, uh, then I have minus my first derivative term. So that goes with my negative a e to the negative x. No. That goes with my a e to the negative x minus a x e to the negative x. And then I have minus 2 times yp, which is uh, ax e to the negative x. And that should be equal to e to the negative x. So if I combine my like terms, here I have two different types of terms. I have ax e to the negative x. So I have an ax e to the negative x here. I have, this would be a minus a negative, so that will make a positive ax e to the negative x here. And then I have a minus 2 ax e to the negative x. These three terms cancel each other out. And my other terms are this negative 2a e to the negative x and this negative a e to the negative x. Combining those will give me a negative 3 a e to the negative x, which is equal to e to the negative x from the right side, or 1 e to the negative x. And here, to solve for a, I want to set my coefficients equal to each other. And that gives me negative 3 a is equal to 1, or a is equal to negative 1 third. So my particular solution, yp, has a coefficient of negative one-third. It's going to be negative one-third x e to the negative x. Negative one-third x e to the negative x. And then my general solution is the sum of the complementary solution and the particular solution. And I'll write that up here. Where's my mouse? Oh, sorry. Uh, so my general solution, y, is my complementary solution plus my particular solution, or y is c1e to the 2x plus c2 e to the negative x plus yp, which is minus one-third x e to the negative x. There we go.